Hey, it's Harker from Play. Today I'll give you a brief overview of our Figma import feature. To import things from Figma into Play, it's super simple. All you have to do is just copy it, Command C from Figma, and then paste it, Command V in Play. Now, the first time you do this, you're gonna have to authenticate your Figma account. So when this pop-up appears, just click Connect, and now it's going to open this page. Just allow access, open Play, and now it's gonna finish importing what we just pasted over. So you can see now this card comes over looking one-to-one -one with how it did in Figma. And you'll see this Figma import status bar here and it'll let you know when the import is completed. So now that we have this in here, let's take a look at the layers panel. You can see everything is on the same layer. There's no hierarchy here. And you can also see that it's all placed on a Z stack. Now in play, you want things to be responsive because it's going to work across all different iPhone sizes. And one way to do this is setting the width to be fill. If I were to do this on this card here, just right click and set the width to be fill, you can see that the contents inside here don't stretch to fill the entire container. And that's because this card was not designed with auto layout. So there's going to be some big issues when you move it over from Figma into play. Now let's contrast that with a card that was designed with auto layout in Figma. I'm going to grab that again, copy it and then paste it into play. This time when I set the width to fill, you can see all of the content stretch to fill the whole thing. It's a lot less work here, and you can see this actually works for any screen size. If you take a look at the layers list, you can also see that there's a bunch more hierarchy here. Again, because it was designed with auto layout in Figma, it comes over into play with that same layout because that is how Swift UI code works, and that is how play works in terms of layout as well. Now, the one other thing I want to mention here, and we'll cover this again in a video, is that the text is not going to come in as editable. You're going to have to make it editable by clicking Make Editable from the Element Settings panel. Now, once you've done that, you're going to be able to edit this text. In the other videos in this playlist, we're going to cover some of the other things you need to know when importing your designs from Figma into Play. So go ahead and check out those videos. Thanks for watching this one.